behalf of the White Liberty Council, first of all, I would like to thank Mrs. Zahir Abbas, who has been kind enough to accept Shyam Bhai's invitation. <laughs> this program is being conducted by the White Liberty Council in coordination with the Empress Cricket Board, who have supported us in this award function, and they have given away the awards that were established in 1998. To date, a total of 240,000 dirhams have been awarded to 29 umpires, 4 lady cricketers and 74 senior and junior division cricketers, including under 15 kids. We thank Sham Bhatia for his magnanimous support for all the 14 editions and we look forward to continuing this further. Thank you Sham Bhai. In the year 2000, we had Sir Clive Lloyd grace the function and then in 2002, we had legendary Sunil Gavaskar do the honours. In 2003, we had the World Cup winning captain Imran Khan and in 2004, West Indian fast bowler Michael Holding presented the awards. In 2005, we were bowled by spin bowler Ravi Shastri and in 2006, we had former captain from Down Under, Ian Chappell doing the honours. 2009, we had Wasim Akram and not to be left behind uh, was English fast bowler and all-rounder Freddie Flintoff doing the honours in 2010. Kapil Dev, another World Cup winning captain did the honours in 2011 and one more World Cup winning captain, this time from Sri Lanka, Arjuna Ranatunga did the honours last year. Thus, the history of Sham Bhatia Award carries some of the legendary and famous cricketers to whom we are indebted and thank them from the bottom of our hearts. This year, we are honoured to have with us Zahir Abbas, who was known as the Asian Bradman, as he was a prolific run scorer and represented Pakistan and Gloucestershire. He played 78 test matches and scored 5,062 runs at an average of 44.79 and scored 12 centuries and 2050s. Zahir played 62 one-day internationals and scored 2,572 runs at an average of 47.62 runs and scored 7 centuries and 1350s. Zahir's first-class career is huge as he has played 459 matches and scored a mind-boggling 34,843 runs at an average of 51.54. He scored 108 first-class centuries and holds the unique record along with Sir Geoffrey Boycott for scoring his first and 100th first-class century in a test match. Zahir Bhai, thank you once again for being with us today and giving the awards. A big thank you to Khalij Times, Gulf News, Gulf Today, Sports 360, Express, Emirates 24 by 7, The National, Geo TV, ARY TV and all who have supported us with huge coverage over the past 14 years. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank all the members of the Emirates Cricket Board for the support to Dubai Cricket Council and to David for all his support as soon as after he has taken over the responsibilities of the board. Thank you, David. A big thank you to Shaji Ul Mulk, Honorary Secretary of Ajman Council and his team. A thanks also to Wajahat Hussain, Inamul Haq and Shah Nawaz and their team in Abu Dhabi. And also to Mazhar Bhai. Unfortunately, he has traveled for Hyderabad as his mother passed away yesterday. And uh, we pray for the departed soul. We thank Walid Bukhatir, Mansoor Pasha, Ali Anwar, Zain Ghazali and Shabbir Rukadia and all at Sharjah Council for their support for providing us the statistics and the nominations of all the best players. And also to our committee members, Farooq Siddiqui, Gopal Jasapara, Shoaib Muljiani and Shiva Pagrani, who have been working behind the scenes to make sure that our cricket goes on in the best possible manner. Thank you very much. I'd like to invite Mr. Abdul Rahman Falaknas to please come up and say a few words. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Excellencies, Mr. Zahir Abbas, I like to call him Zahir Bai, David East, CEO of ECB, Mr. Mohamed Ruda, Vice Chairman of the Dubai Cricket Council, and my very good friend, Mr. Shambhatia. Thank you, 
ladies and gentlemen, for being with us tonight at the 14th uh, Sham Bhatia Awards. Zaheer Abbas, I would like to call him Zaheer Bai, Zaheer, the scoring machine Abbas. That's what he has been in his career. Actually, uh, I had agreed with Mr. Muhammad Lokanwala not to speak any of the records of Mr. Zaheer Abbas for me to say something. But he said quite a few, but I think he left a few which I will um, talk about later. Um, but the evening is Sham Bhatia's. And if I know him as well as you do, he has been all his while promoting cricket just for the love of the game. And he has spent a lot of time and money in what he has achieved in promoting the game as well as building one of the most memorable museums for cricket that one can even think of. It's a wonderful piece of art, I would say. He, of course, has been involved in a lot of scholarships, not only in the UAE, but he has also spent his own money trying to help players in poorer countries to get the name of cricket going as well as he has. And I would like to thank him for that, Sham. Of course, our chief guest, Zaheer, the scoring machine, as I would like to call him. He has many records that Muhammad did not mention. And one of them is that he is the only batsman who scored a hundred and a double hundred in a match four times and all the eight times he was not out. Am I right? His 274 on his second attempt in test is a memorable one. And to watch, and he played it against England, and to watch him play, it was fantastic. And another unique thing about him was that he played with his glasses on. He, of course, as you mentioned, Mohammed, he had his 100th first class century in a test match, which he shares with Jeff Boycott, the Yorkshire England batsman. Zahir Bai, thank you for being with us and blessing this evening. I would like to take Actually, once when uh, Sunil Gavaskar, the legendary cricket batsman and player from India, was commentating and he said that I used to tell my Indian players to tell Zaheer Abbas something. Now, if all if you know, Abbas is spelled A-B-B-A-S, five letters. You can break it down to two words with two letters and three letters. And that's what the Indians, the players, used to tell Abbas. Ab Baskaro. That means, please, no more runs. And that's how he has been in all his life in cricket. And I might add a little bit here as well. Your birthday is July 1947. 26th of July, 24th of July, 27th of July, 1947. Why I mention that is that at that time, where he was born, it was British India. And I think he is the last person before the partition to be born in India and to play for Pakistan. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I wish you have a good evening. Thank you. I would actually like to invite Mr. Abdul Rahman Falaknas to present a small memento from the Dubai Cricket Council to Mr. Zahir Abbas. The man behind these awards. Let's hear it from Mr. Sham Bhatia. Mr. Sham Bhatia, please could you come up and say a few words as well. Assalamu alaikum. 
Good evening, Your Excellencies, Mr. Abdul Rahman Falaknas, our Chairman of the Way Cricket Council, Mohammad Abd Abbas, Vice Chairman of the Cricket Council, our Chief Guest, Mr. Zahir Abbas. Mr. Zahir Abbas, as Chairman said, is known by so many names. Uh, people call him as an Asian Bradman. I call him legend and people, a lot of people call him Zed. So he has so many names. Uh, and we have today, I welcome Mr. David East to UAE. Uh, Mr. East is a very well experienced cricketer and administrator. I'm sure he will add a lot of things in Emirates cricket, which is required. And Mr. David East, you are most welcome, sir. And today we have with us Mr. David Jenkins, ICC Global General Manager. There's a hardly time you can talk to him. He's so busy. The cricket is keeping him so busy, and the, so many teams are visiting here. The guys working day and night. I'm so glad that a lot of students going for a coaching. Mr. Falaknaz spoke about our legend, Zahir Abbas. Uh, about the cricket, what can I say more than that? There's nothing, any words for me. I can tell about him, the better side, and not that better side, but other side of a, being a great human being and a great friend. Uh, Zahir, I know him since a long time, even I don't know exactly when. I've been to Pakistan so many times, watching cricket matches, launching my cricket book, and he's always with me. Thank you, legend, once again, you have been a great friend. <laughs> Let's come to our awards. Well, the first award, we hosted in 1998 and it started from this club. The whole idea was to recognize the best players in UAE. There were no other awards at the time. These awards grew year by year and players were working hard, getting recognized and they were always excited about these awards. As we said, first few years, we gave the awards. But I thought it will be much better and they'll feel more proud to get awards from the legends. So we have all these legends. The last time when Ian Chapel was here, when he saw the list of all chief guests, he says, I can see all these people have come here, players. They have been captaining their country, except one person who was Michael Holden. <laughs> so he said, now what we'll do, we all will make team and make Mikey the captain of our team. <laughs> and uh, you know, these awards have been recognition of the players. Somehow, I tell you today, due to the cricket is so much has gone up here. The, every street, every ground is becoming a difficult to get the grounds to play. There are a lot of corporate crickets. There are a lot of leagues been played here. Most of them all 2020 leagues. It is becoming difficult even for all councils to hold their own tournaments. And earlier we were giving awards the best players of UAE in A division and B division. Uh, unfortunately, this year, it was not possible because of calendar is so busy and uh, the information was not coming much. And the way Cricket Council was having a very tough time to collect the data and announce. So we decided to give the best players two from every council. But I can assure you from next year, we will go back to our original and 
I will request all the councils to please cooperate and we will find some mechanism to recognize who are the best players around us, batsmen and uh, uh, bowlers in UAE so they can be proud of can say we are the best players here, got award this year. Coming back to our local cricket. If we go back, it was always our dream. Mr. Falaknas, Mr. Mohammad Abbas, myself, Mr. Bukhatar all, that one day you will host World Cup. We'll have best facilities to play the games. When the championship trophy was introduced, the whole idea of a championship trophy was to popularize the game, go to the emerging countries where game could be get popular. First time was played Kenya, next year we played Bangladesh. When they saw ICC saw when the oh this is very 